MVP, fine. Uh, well, first of all, congratulations on a thank successful you, you. UFC debut. I guess uh, the octagon jitters, uh, were they real when you made that walk in there? It's weird because, you know what, from start to finish, I just felt, I felt confident. But, and then, you know, when I got in there, <clears throat> it wasn't like I, I, was, I wasn't confident. I was still feeling confident, but so my body just wasn't functioning in the way I wanted it to. I don't know what it was down to, um, but it's the first one. You know, I, I did what I needed to do to win. I still felt, I felt miles better than him and I just felt like I could have done a lot more and definitely have got the finish if I was, you know, in, a, in order. But, you know, we got, the, we got the dub. Did that feeling last the whole fight or like after the first round, <clears throat> you actually just shake off? Yeah, I'd, I'd say I just, you know, towards the end of the, after the first round. So after the first round, I was like, hmm, body's feeling a, li a little bit. And it's not even like anything actually happened uh, drastically in terms of bite to, to me. Um, but like I said, you know, I like to be very hard on myself, winning or losing. Um, so I think that's just me just really, you know, wanting to be better, wanting to do more, wanting to give more to, to you know, the, the, the fans that come to, you know, pay their money to come and see me. In terms of the actual, fu actual fight, could you get a sense of him getting frustrated in there? Because oh, it looked yeah. like he was just <laughs> his head and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, no, definitely. I could definitely see he was frustrated. And, and I always say the same thing when um. From the outside looking in, it's easy to go, oh, you know, I, I'll just do this, you know, I'll just, just kick his leg and just just do this. And then when you're actually in there, um, you know, the reality check is real. I am a lot faster than, you know, it, it may seem. I know people can say, oh, yeah, he can see that he's fast. But when, when I actually hit you with something, it's really fast when you're trying to land shots and nothing's landing. It's frustrating. He's used to being in a fight. Um, and that's what he feeds off. And I'm, I'm used to not not being in a fight. I'm just used to beating people up. So uh, it would just work better for me. Well, to go off of that, you know, in between round one and two, Kevin actually said, yeah, he's faster than we thought. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you, this is why you, you got to love about him. He's, uh, again, in, in his own way, he's extremely entertaining. Like we spoke in, <laughs> uh, I, think, I think it was like, I don't know, the third round, yeah, we was in a clinch. And he's like, man, you slippery as hell. I was like, you was in the first round. He's like, I must just be that uh, black man Coco. But I, know, yeah. <laughs> I literally just couldn't do nothing but laugh in that moment. Yeah, it, it was great. It was great to share the cage with him. Well, I know you were hunting for that finish, but could this have gone better for you? Like there were a lot of those like highlight signature moments. He got you down. He You, you escaped submissions. You got up, you know, you played with him. Could this have gone any better outside of getting the finish? Yeah, no, I think it just, yeah, just not, nah, yeah. Getting a finish, but I just know I could have done more. Like even him putting me in those somewhat dangerous positions just shouldn't have happened. You know, I just I just made a few silly errors, but I felt confident. You know, recovering, getting back to my feet. You know, escaping the cage multiple times when he's trying to press me on the cage, and he's very good at his elbows. But we 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 was we worked on that, so we knew exactly which way to exit to kind of stop him from doing those things. So yeah, you know, still still a good day in the office. Um, by way of the situation that I was able to kind of, you know, navigate through. But um, I always want to do more. In your post-fight interview, you said, you know, you felt you still had a lot of work to do in there. Was that is that just your your own self-criticism or do you have like specific things you <clears throat> need to work on? Yes, it's definitely me. Definitely me. I, I just want to, I want to be better. I want to do better. And don't get me wrong. Let's say <clears throat> second round, third round, I, I, I got the finish. I would have said the same thing. I would have said exactly the same thing because there's, there's just moments in there that I just know what I can do and I you know, wasn't able to execute. Uh, t talk to me about that <laughs> entrance. Uh, we saw with Israel, uh, you came out with the cape and everything. So what went into that thought? Uh, to be fair, we had uh, uh, quite a bit more. Uh, it would have been uh, even more entertaining. Um, UFC was like, you know, calm down. It's your first one. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we had to strip it back a little bit. Uh, but I just like to make uh, it a show and um, it helps me. It helps me just relax when I'm just putting on a show. Um, it just helps the time fly by and have me just have the best time ever. When I'm when I'm in that mode, I feel like I'm the most dangerous. And last one for me, when would you like to get back into the octagon? And I know the UFC hasn't been to the UK yet this year. You just is a no brainer that you're going to be on that card. Uh, no, it's hard to say. I think it was that it's June, isn't it? July, um, it just it, it just it depends. It depends. Um, go back. I don't like to make those kind of decisions. My coach, my manager, you know, they'll sit down. We'll go through what we what I know I need to work on. What we, what we you know, my coach wants me to work on, and we'll say we'll navigate and say, look, is that is that the right time to get back in? Yes, no. I'll go from there. Um, 
But you know, I, 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 if I could fight next week, I'll fight. Do I have any cuts on me? Yeah, exactly. That's. <laughs> Michael, uh, what were you and Kevin talking about after the fight? Obviously, he was frustrated, but it looked like you had like quite a long exchange in there. <laughs> I, I'm a bit of a wind up uh, and um, seeing that he was frustrated straight afterwards, I was like, oh, you could have done a lot more in there, couldn't you? <laughs> he's like, what did you say? I was like, you could have done a lot more. Um, and he's like, yeah, I hate fighting guys like you, you move too much. <laughs> but yeah, and I say, you know, it's just a little bit of banter. So just between us, but it's all good. Is there a part of you that feels like it took you, you know, your journey was a long one to get to the UFC. Is there a part of you now that feels like, oh, I've got to like rush this now. I've got to make the most of it, try and get as far as I can, as fast as I can. Or do you think, no, I'll take it at my own pace. The opportunities will come when they come. No, 100%. I'll take it at my own pace. But the reason I put myself in the deep end first is because so I'm not starting from, you know, far behind and having to make too many to, too many uh, jumps forward to, to get there. Because then now I don't feel in a rush. You know, I fought uh, <clears throat> an amazing athlete in Kevin Holland. You know, very high, uh, you know, at, towards the top of the table of the UFC. So I don't need to rush. I'm already there. MVP right here. Um, before this, uh, you mentioned one of the things is that you liked the canvas uh, in the UFC. Um, and then we saw a couple of maybe slips tonight. Were there issues with the footing at all? Was that just nervous energy or? I know the one in the um, apex felt a little bit more more grippy. But to be fair, yeah, no, it, it was fine. That those those uh, mistakes were literally mistakes my own. You know, then those are the kind of things I'm gonna like grill myself about afterwards when I look when I look back on the fight. But yeah, the, the, they were my mistakes. And then Kevin made a big deal about the uh, level of competition. Did you feel motivated at all to kind of go out and make a statement tonight because of that? I I, I don't need anybody else's judgments, opinions, crit, uh, criticisms to have that pressure on myself. I don't like to do it from outwards in. I like to. You know, I put I put those goals, I put those pressures, I put those, you know, uh, those wants, those needs to, to be better and on myself. And then I go from there. Last one for me. I mean, I think a lot of people would like to uh, see you against uh, Wonderboy at some point. But mm -hmm. are there names that you have in mind uh, for next up? Now, nah, like I said, I don't I don't uh, I'm just chasing the, the top of the hill. Whoever's there, you know, when it's time for me to to perform that's that's the person i go for for me uh, i leave that to my, my coaches we we have enough stress in uh in the gym congrats thank you michael just one i think going into the third round it looked like kevin was trying to do a handshake yeah. and you did a quick one too yeah. i don't know if that was just you didn't understand you didn't see it as a handshake or or is that just a moment of hey keep your guard up the whole time no 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 i had no, no, no lessons to teach him it was um <clears throat> I, I genuinely thought he had just put his hands up um and he kind of, obviously, he stepped within the range that I would, I would use to just, you know, fire. I landed a shot, and he kind of like, you gonna do that? <laughs> and I looked at him like, what is he like? What's he talking about? And he's like, he's like, like showing me that he went to put his hand out. I was like, I'm so sorry. Just jump back up. This suits me better on my feet anyway. So <laughs> it did look like you went back to give him a handshake after that. Yeah, yeah. It. Yeah, no, hundred percent. That's that's not me at all. I don't, I don't need to, you know, take shortcuts to. To, to beat my opponent or, you know, any, any, any dirty tricks. So I genuinely, it was a mistake, uh, you know, I allowed him to the space to get back up and, you know, we went from there. And, you know, I think we all went in there thinking we we're going to get the podcast that you guys were talking about. <laughs> Are you surprised that there wasn't as much talk as we thought would maybe be going in there? Not at all. In all honesty, I feel like he was very nervous and I felt that in our, uh, at the weigh-ins, you know, when we were we facing off, there's a couple of things that he did, a couple of this, you know, uh, things I like, I like to analyze people. <clears throat> There's a couple of things that he did that I was like, no, this man's nervous. And, um, which is why, especially when you're getting hit and you're trying, you're trying so hard to figure, figure out the jigsaw puzzle of MVP in front of you. It's hard to want to talk at the same time. So the only times he, we had a little bit of conversation when we was clinched and that's because I'm not moving. <laughs> I was going to say, it definitely seemed like the movement was very frustrating for him because then when he would try to catch up to you, he throw these big shots and you just ducked under. Was that a big part of the game plan? Was just, did you know that you would frustrate him with the movement? To be fair, I, I frustrate uh, uh, many people, you know, my brothers, my sisters, my mom, my <laughs> everybody. No, but uh, genuine, that's just, that's just my style. It's a very difficult style to um, not be frustrated. And that's you know, also a positive in the style that I have, it, that frustration causes many mistakes. And, uh, you know, I tried to capitalize from that. Congrats on the victory. Thank you so much, guys. I have one quick question. Um, yes. I'm curious what the experience was like having the former president, Donald Trump, sitting front row as you're fighting. You know, there's, there's, there's so many, um, you know, people 
like you know amazing uh, celebrities and you know obviously presidents and so on and so forth UFC always uh, drags uh, some of the best uh, out I know he's you know even last year when I was here in Miami he was here and I know he likes to, to come to the shows um, it's great you know I, I, for me again it's just cool to demonstrate my skills to you know as many people and big names as possible so I'm out there even more um, you know, I gave a couple uh, winks to a couple of people on outside. Uh, Trump is definitely one of them. Um, but yeah, no, it's just cool. Just, it's just, an, it's just another face. Again, I try not to make too much of a big deal about anything because then it, it means I put pressure on myself from the outside in, like I said before. So yeah, it's just, it's just cool. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Yeah, one group, one group. <clears throat> cool. <laughs>